We're back in Democracy 4, so after our UK series, we are now going to go from one of the hardest countries to apparently one of the easiest countries, the United States of America. So the world's third or fourth largest country by total area. We're not going to do any adjustments, so we're going to hit play. Uh, what should we try here? We've learnt this trick now, thanks to one of our fantastic viewers. Um, Democrats versus Republicans, should we go with? And we're going to leave everything the same, difficulty the same. We have got a massive starting debt, so let's go. And let's see, this will be a series if we get re-elected. If not, it's just going to be a one-off, I guess. Uh, welcome to your new job as president. The lives of 328 million citizens now in your hand. Crime, big problem. Nothing's looking great, apart from poverty, which isn't that high. We're going to begin. So, we probably have to try to not uk -ify this too much. But, we need to get this deficit under control, because that is insanity. Um, got respiratory disease. Now, obviously, we don't have a national health service here. Uh, let's have a look what we're spending money on. Military spending. Wow. Overwhelming force, yep. State schools, state pensions, debt interest. Look at debt interest. 11.5%. Oh my gosh. Right. I, I don't even know where to start with this. People are abusing alcohol, which is causing us problems with that crisis going on. Uh, income tax, payroll tax are our biggest contributors, and then it is government borrowing. We need to slash some of this spending, don't we? I'd love to spend this much on the military. If we lower it, they're going to probably hate us straight off. But before we can really start tackling some of these big problems... Ooh, media monopoly. So America starts off with way more problems than the UK, despite it apparently being loads easier. Uncompetitive economy. Oh, gosh. Easiest, did they say? Antisocial behaviour. Right. Let's slash military spending. We just can't afford it at the moment. We need to be getting things back in line, so... If we change it by that much, we're cutting what? 40, more than 40 billion, 44 billion. That should help things a bit. Wait, what are we going to do here though? Unemployment. Do you know what? There's not too big of effects here apart from patriotism. So we're going to go with it. Let's go wild. Um, state schools. We don't really want to cut that. Alcohol abuse is a problem, so let's take a look at alcohol tax, which is somewhere around here. Oh well. Where's it gone? Where's the alcohol abuse? Ah, there we go. Uh, okay, alcohol consumption should be negatively affected by alcohol tax, which is tiny and down there. 8%. It's not popular with voters, but... We need to do something radical, so let's go from 8% to 26% to try and get a grip on that. Anything new we can do? Tourism ad campaign? Alcohol awareness campaign, let's go with that. Definitely, because it comparatively doesn't cost a lot. We'll spend the extra tax on that, we'll reduce alcohol consumption, hopefully start tackling that problem. Tobacco awareness campaign. Possibly. Telecommuting initiative will boost our productivity, which is in the doldrums. It's very popular. It'll cost us a little bit. But it'll be well worth it in the end, I think. I didn't want to revert that then. Apply changes. Yeah. And let's see where that takes us. Corporate medical marketing. Giving money 
favours doctors who prescribe drugs, even though drugs not need our ideal choice. Let's introduce some regulations. Private healthcare not happy, but health increases. Drug addiction is heading our way if we don't act soon. We're running a deficit, although that deficit should be dipping quite a bit now. It has dipped down. Um, it's a global economic boom. Tell you what, we've not seen that in our entire eight terms in the UK, so that's good. We're popular. We added 1.8 million activists. People are indifferent, 65%. Alright, things are looking alright so far. Expenditure is dropping on the military. It's currently at 151. Do we dip it even further? We could. Drop it down another 45 billion, which I think is probably needed. To try and get this deficit under control. Uh, doesn't leave us an awful lot of room for manoeuvre. Antisocial behaviour is a problem. Uncompetitive economy. So productivity, rubbish. Media monopoly. Press freedom is high. Hmm. Carbon capture and storage, very popular, very expensive. Tax. Any popular taxes, enterprise investment scheme? Me, we could boost things here and boost GDP, but it will cost us quite a bit. What other expenditure might we not need? Uh, I hate cutting foreign aid, but... State housing, alcohol abuse is costing us a fortune. It's dipping back down in the right direction. America's supposed to have kind of tougher alcohol laws, to be honest. Min age 21. Can we do any more with alcohol tax, even though it's insanely unpopular? Put it up from 26 to about 45 percent let's do that let's get a grip on this let's take the hit now early in the term tourism is a mad campaign doesn't cost us an awful lot we'll spend the extra alcohol tax on that boom let's go climate change protocol let's ratify it Environmentalists love us, capitalists hate us for that. Uh, budget deficit is dipping, we need to reduce spending or raise taxes, I agree. R added 2.8 million new members, half million new activists. Global economic boom, fantastic. The Evangelical Alliance are growing and not happy. Uncompetitive economy is heading in the right direction. Expenditure on the military is sinking like a stone. State pensions are quite popular. Military spending is quite popular. State schools, quite popular. Child benefit, popular. Is there anything that we're spending loads on that's not popular? We don't want to cause congestion by getting rid of that. Health tax credits. Oh, this is like Medicaid. Because we don't have a state system. Ooh, and it's very popular. Right, let's not touch that. Space program. It's very popular with the voters. We don't want to, like, savage them. Unemployment benefit, not popular, but the right thing to do. State health service, we don't spend a lot on. Intelligence services, disability benefits, social care, armed police. Whilst we've got problems with antisocial behaviour and crime, we probably need to keep that up. Income tax is currently at 45%. Whilst we've got an uncompetitive economy from the start, we've... Not that one. That one. We don't really want to be pushing that loads, do we? What's affecting productivity?
Okay, maybe we need some new policies. Uh, plastic tax, plastic bag, packaging tax, mortgage relief, micro generation, luxury goods tax, junk food, hybrid cars initiative. Ooh. Frequent flyer tax. Could bring in an awful lot, but damage the economy. Right, what can we do with the economy? Technology grants would help our productivity, increase GDP, capitalism, reduce unemployment. Let's go with it. We're always big on tech here, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Um, let's max it out. We need to do some radical changes here. Uh, National Business Council can boost GDP, doesn't cost a lot, so let's go for it. How else can we stimulate the economy? Business startup campaign, possibility. Robotics research grants, not all that popular. Let's go with a business startup campaign, maybe. CO2 campaign, compulsory foreign languages, boost education. Reforestation. I feel like we've not seen that before, but it would take away down respiratory disease and unemployment and CO2 emissions. It wouldn't half actually cost us an awful lot. So let's do it. Let's combat it. 100 million trees a year. Go. Right. Hopefully some of these crises start ending. Demand from donor. He wants proportionate fines. Proportionate fines, not that popular with voters. But hey, we'll go with it. Start there. So, you know, antisocial behaviour, it could clamp down on a bit. You pay what you can afford proportionately. It's very progressive, so we'll go with it. Major donor abandons party. Fab. Technology backwater, so we definitely need to boost technology. I have no idea why the government does this. The words of Maria Rivera when describing the daily suffering of her elderly mother. Oh. Government needs to still opposes the right to die. This is a bit controversial, but. Currently, we're in a budget deficit of 76 billion. We should take steps to reduce this. We're adding way more members and activists, and the global economy is doing well. So we're hammering. Oh. We're hammering down somewhere, not on the debt, but the deficit. Which one's the deficit? Expenditure is increasing. Relative GDP, debt. Expenditure. Income. We don't want to make it more uncompetitive whilst there's like big problems with competitiveness. I'm going to try and boost it. Oh, we've only got one. Did we do something then? I don't even know. Let's carry on though. Fracking? Oh yeah, we implemented the policy from the donor. I got it. Uh, we'll allow fracking for now. They're not going to be happy, but boost GDP. Fantastic. Deficit's going down. Ah, good news, the economy's doing well. Hopefully that military expenditure is still dropping down, which is good. Alcohol abuse is dipping in its cost. It's nearly at a stop, which is fantastic. Death penalty, always a controversial one. We'll have to wait to grasp that nettle till later, I think. Religious banknotes. Not seen that policy enacted anywhere before, but, you know. Petrol tax. Petrol tax. Let's have a look at our income. Capital gains. Always a bit of a thorn. But if we increased it, I mean, if we went crazy, which we could, we could go from 11% to 50%, but it's going to hammer our GDP, which we don't want. If we raised it to the point where it starts affecting GDP, so we go from 11% to 19%, 
will raise like an extra 10 billion a quarter. Which seems fair enough. The wealthy won't pretty much like it, but socialists like it. Let's go for it. See how we can boost our income. Tobacco tax. We could go from 25% to 32% it might help with respiratory disease and raise another 4 billion so let's go from 25% to 32% is there much else we can do property taxes we could go from 8% to 15% which would raise us like another 8 billion a quarter taxes do seem really low and that's probably why the debt is ridiculous to be honest um, we'll do that and then we'll see where we're at allow foreign fighters to return fight a religious war overseas but I, I get the argument for blocking them, but there are people, we need to sort them out. If they've committed a crime, they need to be in court, don't they? So let's allow them to return. GDP is increasing, health's increasing, crime down, unemployment down. Things are going in the right direction. Phenomena of alcohol abuse has apparently subsided. Fantastic. We've added, we're getting less momentum now, but we've still got a lot of extra support. Although the Republicans are not far behind. Um, supportive cabinet. Small budget deficit now, which we've done amazing on, if I do say so myself. Global economy is doing well. Good, 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 good. So. Uncompetitive economy and technology. We, we need to grow our way out of this. Grow, 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 grow. Do we do tax breaks? <sighs> always controversial and a little bit short termist uh, 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 small business grants to boost GDP it's based on the popularity as well and a lot of these aren't actually all that popular automation tax would affect our technology credentials Do we grasp the nettle of income tax now? 7% popularity with voters. Or payroll tax. Which is a little bit more popular, but it does crush GDP a bit. Or sales tax, which is only at 6%. We went from 6% to 11%. Still not affecting GDP all that much, but it's like doubling to like 70 billion our income from it and we need to hammer home some income even though nobody wants it it is regressive we need to look how we can turn this around though at a later time i think oh let's go with it right how can we boost some of this technology diverted profits tax they won't like it but, you know, Donald Trump kind of suggested this, saying, you know, why should they be in tax havens when they're receiving money from Americans? So, I know it will damage foreign relations, but let's go with it. Diverted profits tax, maximum. Capitalists are going to hate us. Self-employed, love it, because it readdresses re the balance. It's not that popular with voters. Foreign relations tanks, but it brings us in another 31 billion, so we're going to risk it. Civil servants of strike in overpay. <sighs> okay. We need to look how we can make them happen. Si situation imminent. Technology backwater. Technology grants are still increasing. Space program. It's another reason to keep it. Why is science funding negatively affecting technology? That makes no sense. <sighs> uh... Right. Um, is this about the right to die? Science funding. Embarrassed targets colleagues in another country where they take science and research seriously. 
we need to start taking seriously. The budget has a 69.10 billion surplus each car, which is great news. We can start paying down the debt. We signed up millions more members, but the Republicans are growing faster. We need to give the public a bit of something that they want. The border wall. Ugh, we'll leave that where it is. Public services, university grants will be really popular. The boost education, reduce the skill shortage, reduce the generational wealth gap. Let's go. Really popular grants, generous grants. Reduce our skill shortage, hammer down on a couple of these current crises, boost education. What is not like to like? Tobacco awareness campaign would be quite popular. Business start campaign even more popular. Will not cost us a lot. Let's go. Maximum. Max it out. Capitalists that will get us a bit of ground back with them. Fantastic. Support democracy protesters. That we have historical ties to in a foreign country. Support the protesters. We believe in democracy. Prison overcrowding situation in our prison is now thankful under control, no longer overcrowded. Great. We weren't even deliberately tackling that, but I guess if crime's dipping. Water shortage. Eee. Okay. I'll have to act soon. We've got a surplus still, which is good, despite all that spending. Right, okay, so we've turned the deficit into a surplus, which is good. Global economy is turning back around. How can we get rid of this? Oh, not media monopoly. We're going to grasp that soon. Uncompetitive economy. Productivity. We are boosting. Expenditure. Technology grants are at maximum. University grants are at maximum. Space program. If we increase that, it will increase technology, but it will cost us an absolute fortune. Technology colleges. We could hammer that up to maximum, which will cost us not a lot. It's very popular and boost technology. Let's go with that. Science funding. They've got test tubes. Great. We max that out to particle accelerators from test tubes to particle accelerators, spending a hefty chunk of our surplus, but we start going in the right direction on a load of things GDP, technology, energy efficiency, unemployment down, state employees up. Why not? What's not to like? Where does that leave us? Torture deportation. It's been in our country illegally, but it'll be tortured. Keep him here. We don't support torture. No, we don't. Surplus hasn't really been affected that much, which is good. Unemployment down, crime down. Global economy is doing well. Angels of heavenly justice are on our backs now, but we seem reasonably popular with the voters. The debt is starting to head down into the right direction. Which is good, because... A massive part of our expenditure is on debt interest, but at least a massive part of our income is no longer from government borrowing. Right. Packaging tax is really popular. Do we grasp that now? How far through are we? We're about halfway through the term. Is there anything controversial we want to do still? Respiratory disease we're tackling well. Antisocial behaviours coming down. Uncompetitive economy. This is the biggie. Productivity. Productivity. Young entrepreneur scheme. Works on boards. Trade council. Tax shelters. Small business grants would boost our GDP would cost us quite a lot. They might be small business grants, but they cost us quite a lot. Um, but it could boost GDP, which could offset it. City firms. It's 
go for some small business grants. We'll do it. Let's max them out. We've always got to make radical changes at the beginning of a term because I think if you don't, you can't grasp some of these major problems that in this case the US economy is facing. Should boost GDP. Not a lot not to like there. Let's go with that. Welfare fraud department, mm, city farms, would push down the food price. Trade council, could do with boosting foreign relations. Smart energy, tax health food subsidies would help reduce obesity. Not very popular though. Um, healthy eating campaign? Wouldn't cost us an awful lot. Would help reduce obesity. It's not that popular, but let's go with it. Try and tackle obesity. Social Justice Foundation. Youth Politics Council. Really popular. Keep the country tidy. Cyberbullying Awareness. These are all really popular things. So with our last two of political credit on this turn, it makes sense to do it. Let's do a Youth Politics Council. Get the youth involved. Message from a minister, she's not happy, she wants to trade union and parents with maternity leave. We can look at it, just not now. International charges. They brought charges against me? I don't believe it. It's a smear campaign, clearly. Fiddling the system is on the news, that won't make people happy. Might have to try and clamp down on that. Supportive. Small surplus still. Angels of Heavenly Justice. We'll have to watch out for those. Um, who is this here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, have we tried to radically change America so much that that it's just decided, N nah, you, you're not doing this. Think it has. Oh dear. Alright, well, we'll see if we can get back to this.